Okay, quick review on the Ozone 500 Fragment 29 inch 21 speed mountain bike. In a word, garbage. Thanks for tuning in. No, uh, okay, <laughs> a little longer. Honest review. I, I owned one of these things. I bought it for about 169 bucks. It, it was damn cheap for a 29 inch mountain bike with an alleged mountain bike. Uh, <laughs> With, with disc brakes on it. Uh, I, I wanted something for riding on the green belt and, and I figured at the price it was going to be low-end components but riding on a smooth paved asphalt thing I, I figured it should be up to the job. Uh, should be is the key here. Uh, 40 miles into riding the thing um, the front hub went out. Uh, only had eight bearings in one side of it. That might have something to do with it. Barely any grease in, in the cones looked like they were stamped out of so, uh, tin cans it, it horrifying so we replaced the front axle kit on it no big deal that was probably second day of owning the bike a uh, couple days later the bottom bracket really started squeaking bad so I, I figured I'd take that apart same situation the only lube that was in there was uh, probably the packing lube from the ball bearings when they were in bulk the, kind of creosote looking yellow goop uh, at that point I decided I'd better check the neck and sure enough same situation there which by the way it's a quill stem on a 29 inch bike that's supposed to be a mountain bike um, the front suspension horrendously bad it's just a sliding tube in tube with a spring it's got about two inches of travel and it constantly bottoms out even on road so um, that was useless the um, stem on it quill stem two bolts to hold the handlebars on and, and it was, it, it's just flat not capable of holding the handlebars still they rotate no matter what so I ended up um, purchasing a quill adapter so I could use a, a standard stem on it uh, that helped a lot. Put some better handlebars on it. That helped a lot. With shifters, uh, you'd be better off with pull choke cables from a lawnmower than shifting with those horrible things. So I also went and got some Shimano click fires for them. That helped tremendously. And the seat, just like pressed plastic, hard and uncomfortable. Uh, I had a surface seat laying around, so I put that on. And just everything on the bike, absolute cheapest piece of garbage you could buy uh, the tires even they're Kendas but they're, they're not it says Kenda but there is no model name on them anywhere I'm presuming it's a tire they do for these mass marketers like this to give them an extremely cheap tire and that's ex exactly what it is um, very poor traction on any surface um, tremendously hard rubber and, and I, I had to change them quickly, so I purchased a set of uh, the WTB Thick Slicks in a 29 by 2.1, which the um, best thing I did on that bike was put those tires on there. Decreased rolling resistance dramatically, softened up the ride. Uh, the bike just felt way more under me, and, and you could ride it much more confidently. But, you know, I, I was at a point with it, I, I was knocking on and having $300 into this bike and still had a lot of things that needed changing and I knew the wheel set definitely you know even with the new axle in there it, it just wasn't gonna hold so uh, when, it, when I looked at having to purchase a new wheel set on top of what I already had in it I decided it was time to cut bait and I was fortunate enough to sell the bike for almost what I had into it so um, you know cheap bike rental for a couple months is basically what it boiled down to and Fortunately, the person who bought my old bike probably got a better ozone than anything he could have bought new because of all the stuff that had been gone through that should have been from the factory that wasn't on top of the crappy components. But if you're seriously considering looking at this bike, um, you know, it's your money, you do what you want. But my honest opinion, steer clear of the ozone bikes. They're, they're just garbage. They're going to break your heart, and they're going to break and hopefully not hurt you. You know, and I, I know some people are going to say there's a warranty. Yeah, there's a warranty, but all you're going to have to do is take the entire bike back to the store. Um, and at Academy Sports, uh, they don't have a bike tech. There's a guy who comes around once a week to assemble bicycles for the floor. 
looking at his handiwork, there is no way I'd have him assemble my bike, let alone try to repair one. So, um, you know, results at your store may vary, but that was my experience here. You know, honestly, if that's the price range you're shopping for a bicycle in, do yourself a favor and go find something used. You can get so much more bike for the money. Um, and any, any new bike, you know, it's that old adage, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah, it's too good to be true. You can't buy a decent 29-inch aluminum frame bike with disc brakes on it for $150. Um, it's just a shame that a lot of people are probably buying these products and, and never getting to enjoy bicycling because this would be a frustrating thing to own. It was for me, and I know bicycles pretty okay. And for a novice or somebody who doesn't do their own service work, oh my God, what an expensive nightmare these things have to be. So, yeah, once again, folks, uh, public service announcement just avoid these things, and you know, you don't have to take my word for it. There, there's probably a couple good reviews out there, but honestly, uh, the bike's just crap, as, as I said in the opener. Uh, garbage. Anyway, that's my review. Thanks for listening. See ya!